Indifference, the thing that hurts God the most. Hello dear brothers and sisters. I am Brother Joseph of Jesus and Mary of the Work of God. Today I want to talk to you about the thing that hurts the Lord the most, about which Jesus has given me a message that I will share with you later. It is indifference. Who wouldn't be offended when he or she is ignored by someone? Who would like to feel as if they have been erased? Who doesn't feel bad when others treat them as if they don't exist? How do the poor and the destitute feel when we pass them by and ignore them as if they were worthless human beings? But today's topic is not only about indifference among human beings. It is about our indifference towards God. It is about the pain that God feels before the apathy of our humanity that ignores Him and does not give Him any importance. And of course, in loving our neighbor, we are already indifferent to God when we are indifferent to our brothers. God is our Creator, and in gratitude and praise we should adore Him continually, and not take a rise of Him, nor our hearts away from His presence. Give to God what belongs to God, says Jesus in Matthew 22, verse 21. But we concentrate on giving Caesar, that is, the world, self-love, personal welfare, and sin, all the honor, power, and glory, while we abandon God in complete distrust. Faith in God works miracles, and as a testimony we have the Gospels that show the wonders performed by Jesus to all those who believe in Him. But today, there is no more faith, because man prays just as if for a compliment. He does not lead prayer from his heart, and he has God as a servant whom he asks to help him. Most people look for God in moments of difficulty, or they look for Him only to fulfill precepts that assure their salvation. That offends God very much, as that is a lukewarm love of which Jesus says in Revelation 3, verse 16, Therefore, since you are neither cold nor hot, but lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. True love for God must be unselfish, a love that does not seek only to please Him, so that He responds to our needs. Man must live for God more than for himself. We must live to please God's desires, His wants, and His divine will. When in our selfishness we become immersed in ourselves, which is what happens in the majority of human beings, God is outside of us, and from there arises the indifference towards Him. On the other hand, if we live for God, with God, and in God, we forget ourselves, we are indifferent to ourselves, in a sacrifice of praise, gratitude, and adoration to God. These are the ways of holiness, the ways to which the will of God attracts us. I share this message with you now about the indifference of human beings towards God. Indifference, 29th of December 2018. Jesus speaks, My son, my daughter, do you know that indifference is the thing that hurts me the most? I am going to tell you why. Indifference is the basis of pride, of lack of love, of lack of charity, of envy, of forgetfulness, 
and basically the basis of all things, if we take into account that everything comes from love, and correspondence to love does not allow indifference. I am love, and my spirit has created everything from this love, and so when love returns to me, I am glorified. But when the creature moves away from love, I feel that indifference with much pain. I am Emmanuel, God with creation, the Father's gift of love to all creatures. I have come to dwell in your hearts, but I am so despised and forgotten because few remember me. I am truly present in all the tabernacles of the earth, in all the sacraments. My omnipresence fills the earth and is the life of souls. But those who still have me as that distant being or as that Savior who died for the salvation of men more than 2,000 years ago, and it seems to them that I am a distant God, they forget that I am with you. I am alive because I am life. I am everywhere because I am the Spirit who created all that exists. I live through my creatures, and I want to feel the gratitude I deserve for being the Creator. I want to be present and included in all lives because that is my place. I have come to reign and souls are my throne. But how disillusioned I am! Human beings, with their indifference, begin by ignoring the great love of their own parents, who as my image have brought them to life. That indifference turns into rebellion against parents, against teachers, against authorities, against the teachings of the Church, and against me. For I list them to offend their parents, their brothers and sisters, and to offend the God who created them with so much love. This is why the first commandment tells them, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your being, and your neighbor as yourself. But these ungrateful, indifferent ones do not love me, for in their hearts they have enthroned all the loves of the world, and have me as the most despicable being in the bottom of the closet of their hearts. Instead of loving me with all their minds, their thoughts are filled with the things of the world, and they lack the space to embrace more. They do not remember me. They have forgotten me completely. They have placed their whole soul, which is my throne, in the things of the earth. Thus the soul has become the property of the devil, who reigns in it with material things, with passions, vices, lack of charity, attachment to what is earthly, and especially that terrible indifference they feel for me. The being that I have given them is their own life, which belongs to me because I have created it for my purpose. But now with self-love and indifference they are denying me what is mine. Do you realize how indifference leads to that life away from my light, in which only the darkness of sin and the short path to perdition are found? The world is barely sustained by the love and adoration of the few souls who feel much love for me. When you remember me, when you are in prayer, and when you make adoration either in your heart or before the Blessed Sacrament of the altar, you are with me, and in that way you are mitigating the sorrow I feel for the indifference of those who do not love me. When you make efforts to keep yourself in my presence, you are making reparation for many souls who only strive to satisfy their self-love. Cheer up, my son, my daughter. Love your brother very much, because by loving him, you love me. We make many acts of love, of adoration, and in this way make reparation for the spiritual coldness of the majority of human beings. I am always with you. Do not hurt me with indifference.
If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. Share on social networks. And do not forget to leave your valuable comments. Tell us what you think about indifference towards God. Have you ever been indifferent? God bless you.